Hey, Larry. Um, I guess the first question is just how are you feeling? Obviously, you're, you're dealing with the groin issue. Uh, I mean, th 37, play a lot of games. So I wouldn't say I, I feel great, but, um, you know, every day is getting a little better. Larry, just out of curiosity, I think this is the second week in a row with a golf hoodie. Do you plan that when you know you're talking on Thursday to showcase different golf places? No, I just, I mean, it's the sweater I wore in the, the work today. Just, I got a bunch of, I guess, got a bunch of stuff. You only, you guys only talk to me on Thursdays. I have different clothes on every day. Larry, uh, we're seeing a lot of that video of your first catch against the Rams and a couple Hall of Famers, possibly, I guess, Emmett Smith, Isaiah Williams, and you in the future. What do you remember about that flea flicker? Not much. I just remember getting getting smacked up that day. We we didn't, you know, we, that was a good first play to kind of get the, get us going. But you know, it wasn't it wasn't a good day. That's not the result I, I hope to have this Sunday. Um, you know, this is a. Uh, this is a really good football team. You know, defensively they have some outstanding players, a couple of All Pro performers, and um, you know we we need to be able to play um, fast. You know, use our tempo as a as a key factor. Um, you know, try to get their pass rushers as tired as possible, be able to get the run game going, um, and you know, converting on third downs is something that we really need to emphasize this week. Um, this is a good team, and. Um, you know, we don't. We need to play a lot better than we played. You know, in St. Louis, you know, 17 years ago. Next three, please, Bob, Steve, and Cam. Hey, Larry, you've been in uh, games like this uh, when it all comes down to, to uh, you know, win or go home. And uh, given everything you've been through over the years, and this year particularly, for everybody, does this one feel different at all? Yeah, I, th I think the last three have really felt, you know, you can feel you can feel the pressure. You know, these are the games that you just you, you have to win. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I think guys understand that the level of intensity was pretty high today at practice, and um, you know, you know, the implications are definitely in the air. And um, coaches feel it, the players feel it. I mean, the building, everybody understands what's what's at stake here. Hey Fitz, uh, Steve White here. How's everything going, man? Um, good team. Just want you know your your thoughts on just what this Ram secondary does. You know, to try to confuse, you know, Jalen Ramsey moving him all over, maybe traveling with D Hop, and what maybe that opens up, you know, for you and and the other receivers there. Well, I mean, the Rams do a really good job of mixing up their coverages in terms of man and quarters, palms, cover two. I mean, they do a good job of keeping you up balance and. You know, sprinkling in some really good, um, you know, five-man pressures as well. But I mean, you know, both their cornerbacks are opportunistic. They're able to get their hands on a lot of uh, uh, plays, and you know, they're able to cause havoc. You know, we have to be able to take what's given to us, and if we call, we have shots down the field, we have to be able to run precise routes and be able to get off, you know, tight coverage. And we're going to have to be some contested plays, contested catches made. You know, that's just the kind of game it's going to be um, when you're playing against elite talent like they are. And um, you know we're we're, we're, look, we're looking forward to the challenge. You know you, you want to play against the very best, and you know it's hard to find any secondary that's uh, as good as the Rams and do just such a good job of taking the ball away. Hey, Larry. Um, I know this has been a tough year for a lot of people. But what positives do you uh, take away and remember from this year? Cam, uh, you, you kind of were like going in and out. Sorry about that, buddy. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. There. Um, what positives will you remember and take away from this year? I know it's it's been a tough year. And you've been through some things too, as well. So, what positives will you remember from this year? There's a lot of great positives that I can remember from the year. I mean, you know, it's the team just sticking together, bonding. You know, being able to you know push through some of the things that we dealt with. You know, I'm really proud of the way guys have been able to respond and. Um, and I would say in, in, in large, you know, as a group, you know, we've, you know, been able to persevere throughout, you know, the year with everything that's been changed and the adjustments been make been made. You know, I think guys have done a good job. And so I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we were able to get through the season and, you know, be able to play and not have any games canceled. And you know, I think it's uh, that's a positive and something that we can, 
I'll be very thankful for. Looks like we have three more, Darren, Tressa, and Catherine. Larry, the I know this isn't technically a playoff game, but it essentially is one. And when we last saw you, uh, the cameras caught you at the after the NFC Championship loss in 2015 of a game of this magnitude. Um, no matter what happens with you going forward in terms of playing or not, um, do you get into this position appreciating, trying to appreciate the moment any more than maybe you once did, knowing that these only come so often for a player? Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, having the opportunity to get into the playoffs is something that, you know, is not something I would say, you know, player in my position, you know, um, you know, can take for granted. You know, it doesn't even have to do with my age, but, you know, we haven't made the playoffs a, a lot. You know, we've, I think it's, you know, if we win, I think this would be my, Fifth time be able to go to the playoffs. That's not, it's not a lot for a 17 career. You look around and you know look at guys you know that that came in the league around the same time. Ben Roethlisberger or, or Eli Manning and you know those guys are, are, are pretty old. You know playoff block. You know for the most part of their careers. And so you know I definitely you know appreciate you know having the opportunity and very thankful to be back in this position because it doesn't happen um, as often as I would like. And and I think the guys understand. You know just how important it is because it, it doesn't happen and um, but I'm excited about you know where we are as an organization where we can go you know we've made great progress in in just two years you know you look at our record last year and now you're looking at you know we're knocking on the door being a playoff team you know Kyler made his first Pro Bowl and you know in his ascension and what you know how important that position is to the to teams in the National Football League you look at everybody who's has clinched at this point for the most part has a has a has a you know, quarterback that's playing at a very high level. And, you know, I'm just very thankful that we have a quarterback here that can do that for the next 10 to 15 years. And it, you just build around them. And, you know, this is hopefully something that we'll be playing for for years to come here. Hey, Larry, uh, good to talk to you. I'm just curious if you're a type of guy that has New Year's resolutions and if you have any, I guess, well wishes or thoughts heading into 2021. Yeah, I always kind of sit down and evaluate the things that, you know, I, I did well or things that I, I wish I could I, I could do better. And, you know, I kind of evaluate that. I write my list down tonight and, you know, as we get closer, you know, I definitely will, you know, put them into, you know, the atmosphere and, and the universe, you know, what I what I hope for and aspire to be able to do. And, um, you know, so making New Year's resolution is something that I take pretty serious. and. I try to I try to stick to it, you know. I, I look back at it, you know, at the at the end of each quarter to make sure I'm on schedule to accomplish what I've set my mind to. Hey, Larry. About halfway through the season, Cliff said that he felt the offense was still trying to solidify its identity. And now that it's Week 17, what would you say is the identity of this Cardinals offense? Uh, I said when we're playing at our best, you know, we're we're a team who's very efficient in terms of our, our run game, you know, averaging four or five yards of carry, being able to play a downhill game, and our passing game is feeding off of that. Um, you look at the games that we were we were dominant in, you know, the Dallas Cowboys game, the games like that, you know, run game really, really is what sparked us. And then we built off the passing game. And, um, you know, we were playing in all three phases. We're playing complementary football, you know, our – you know, our special teams makes a good play, stops stops a you know a returner from making any yards on a, on a punt, and our defense gets a three and out, and then we, you know, are able to run the ball effectively. You know, be consistent on third down, score touchdowns as, as opposed to field goal. When we're playing complementary football. We are a very 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 difficult team to deal with. Um, you know, we have one of the most high powered offenses in the game, um, and when our quarterback is 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 in rhythm. You know, he's beating you with his legs. He's beating you with his arm. You know, we're running the football off of that. And I mean, it's it's uh, it's tough for us to to be handled. And you know, that's what we need to be able to do is just play complementary football, three phases. And you know, if we do that, I think we will have great success.